Hello. In this video, we'll take a look at how to use and manage jQuery controls inside of your ASP.NET MVC application. All the controls that ship in the jQuery product contains an extension method that allows the developer to easily create their views and, and build up the controls within the MVC views and connect to their model data. There are essentially three references that you want to bring in your MVC projects so that you can consume the NetAvantage jQuery controls within your applications. The first one is JavaScript references, so you need to bring in all the Java necessary JavaScript files within your project and then link them to your project. The second is the CSS. All the themes of these controls are based on top of jQuery theme roller, so you need to bring in the necessary CSS files within your application and then uh, link, link the reference to the, to the appropriate CSS file so that when you run your application, your, your control looks, looks nice. The third is the infogistics.web.mbc DLL, which contains all the helper and extension methods that uh, you can use to build up your views, and it will help you with JavaScript intelligence and other things as you're developing your application. So let's get started. What I have in front of me is a blank ASP.NET MVC project. And uh, you can see at the default, it creates the content, the controllers, model, and views folder with skips folder, and everything that's needed for to run an a to build uh, an ASP on MVC application. If you run this now, you'll see that it will come up with, a, with just a blank slate that we can go ahead and now continue building on top of. So this is the default ASP on MVC application. You have the home tab, and then you have the about tab. Two different views, and what we're going to do here is we're going to create a uh, waiting control and bring that into our ASP on MVC application. Let me close this and go back to my Visual Studio. Now in here, as I said, I need three, three set of resources, the JavaScript files, the um, CSS, and the DLL. So let's start with, uh, with using the default folder structure and bring it up in our reference, references accordingly. So in the scripts folder, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to create a new folder called IG. And that's where I'm going to put all the infogistics scripts. In the content folder, which contains all the site-related CSS, I'm also going to create a IG folder. And now I'm going to go to my install location where the software is installed, and I'm going to bring the CSS files and JavaScript files and I'm going to put it in these ref locations. So once you install the product, everything regarding the jQuery product is going to be installed at this location, Program Files and Logistics Database 2011.1 and under jQuery. And there are essentially four uh, major parts of the product, which is the demos, which includes all the samples and codes and everything that you can use or see the product in action. We, these are all the references that we need to develop applications and consume the jQuery controls. So we have the JavaScript files, we have the MVC DLL, and the themes, uh, which, is, which contains the CSS files. So let's go into the JavaScript files first. And in here, you'll see that these, these are all the JavaScript that ship as part of the product. These are all uh, unminified and uncombined version of the file. We'll go directly to the combined version because that's so that we have the JavaScript that's ready for deployment. So once you go into the combined folder, these are all the combined files. Let's go into the minified version of those. And let's copy them and bring them into our project. I'm going to drag them over to the IG folder that I have in my scripts. Once you have that, we'll do the same thing with the content folder. So I'm going to come back to my main jQuery product location. And under themes, um, you have the IG and base theme. These are the unminified version of the, of the CSS or uncombined version. We can now do the same thing, go directly to the minified version and bring these two folders into our project as well. So under content, I now have my CSS um, in, in, in my project. Finally, in order to create my views, I need the infogistics.web.mvc DLL reference in my project. So I can come in my MVC folder. You'll see that there are two different folders here for MVC2 development. You'll find the DLL in here, but we are using MVC3. So we'll go directly into MVC3 and bin directory. And then now uh, we have the infogistics.web.mvc DLL, which is what we want. 
let me bring that over to my bin directory and come to my references right click and add a reference to that see there in here I'm going to add a reference to bin mbcdll and now it's referenced in my project so my project is, is set as far as the references are concerned they're all in, in, in the folder that I need and um, let's, let's create a simple rating control and make sure that I'm able to pull all these references into, into my project and the control can instantiate using the MVC view. So in the views folder um, under shared you'll see that there's a layout, there's a log on partial and error.cshtml which is basically um, sort of a, a shared view among different parts of your application. A layout is basically for the header and footer and the content area. And just, just so that we have to reference the file once and not have to re-add the reference over and over again, I'm going to just add the reference to the layout.cshtml so that once it's in the project, I can just create as many views as I want and not worry about the number of controls that I'm using, and it will pull in the necessary references every time. So I can come in here, and you can see that it, by default it has already referenced the uh, the site CSS and the jQuery 1.5.1 and the modernizer library. So I need to come in here, and I need to add the script references for infogistics controls. Now, just to note here that all the infogistics controls are built on top of jQuery UI, so you'll need to reference the jQuery UI JavaScript file as well in here. So let's do that. Let me make some room here. And we'll take the minified version of the jQuery UI. We'll bring that into our project. And um, if you're if you're using all the controls, the majority of the controls, and I would recommend just using the igui.min.js. This contains JavaScript for all the controls. So once you reference it, you can use as many controls as you want and not worry about references ever again in your application. So I'm going to bring that in. Once I'm done with that, let's bring in the CSS styles and the content. I'm going to come here and bring in the IGUI custom.min and for the base, similarly um, just as we did for the JavaScript files, you don't have to uh, link all the CSS individually if you just want to pick a CSS that contains everything, which is the jQuery UI.min.css. So I'm going to bring that in. And once I do that, this contains definition of CSS for all the controls. So I don't have to redo it every time uh, on, on different views as I'm using in controls. One last thing I want to do is to add the jQuery templating uh, plugin into this application. Now this is not needed for all the controls, but just for grid. So if you go online and search for jQuery templates, you can get the CDN or you can download it and add it to your project and link it that way. So I'm going to bring this script reference into my application and I'm going to put it right after the, uh, right before actually the JavaScript from Infogistics so that it's available when uh, when the grid is trying to initialize in this code here. So that's all needed uh, for hooking up the JavaScript and CSS. Now what we need to do is hook up the um, reference and, uh, and create a view that contains the rating control. Let me close this, save it, and let's go to our index view. And here, I can just reference the DLL .mbc, and this will allow us to reference the view within Visual Studio to the DLL and all the extension methods. So now I can use the razor syntax to instantiate an infotistics control. So I'm going to do rating, and I can do dot precision, and it will have Full support for intelligence. As you can see, that this is an enum type. I can do rate precision dot exact. Let's set a value to be three. Let's set a vote count 
to be a five and finally call the render method which is needed for all the control so that the control instantiates and renders itself okay once we have that let's run the project and you can see that there are some images and, and things missing which means that we don't have our order of the CSS right so let's close that come to our layout.cs.html and switch to CSS references so the minified version has to come before and then you can put the custom one in let's run this again and here we go so we have a rating control with star rating um, again fully rendered within using the razor syntax instead of an MVC view and all the references and everything in JavaScript needed are being folded correctly and you can see that as I'm hovering over this um, I'm getting the highlight um, and when I click on it I get the rating to respond to it so in this video you learned that there are three major parts uh, of the references that you need in order to use these controls one is JavaScript references the other one is CSS and the third one is the DLL itself once you have these reference in your project you can build up views using the Razor syntax and the control is going to use those locations to pull in the necessary JavaScript and CSS file and you can host them uh, or, or reference them only once in the layout file and you don't have to worry about it ever in your MVC projects thanks for watching this video Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.